Hey extremists, it's Latasha and I'm your mother of rock here at xradio.com. It's nice and sunny and I thought why not come out and enjoy some sunshine, some Stevie Ray Vaughan and um, just enjoy a great Sunday where the first thing I didn't have to do was go to work when my feet hit the floor, right? Happy Sunday to you. Uh, Los Angeles, I'll tell you what, it is going to be rocking July 30th when Rage Against the Machine, Muse, and Rise Against all headline the LA Rising Festival at the Los Angeles Coliseum. Tickets are on sale right now, and if you need more info on that, you can head over. <laughs> and if you need more info on that, you can head on over to axradio.com, just to our homepage. Metallica's 1991 Black Album has now become the biggest selling album of the 1990s with almost 16 million copies sold. A tribute album is in the works to celebrate the 20 year release of the album and we're going to keep you posted when it all becomes available for pickup. Not delivery, just pickup. Now if you love playing Metallica and you love playing Monopoly, well guess what? You can do both at the same time. Uh, the new Metallica Monopoly game has been changed to really reflect the band's history and their music. And I think I would pick Lars as my little player piece. He's pretty cool. Who would you pick? Now if you've ever wanted to dress like Aerosmith, Steven Tyler, and lately I don't know why you would. Steven Tyler is going to be the face and the inspiration for the new Andrew Charles Rock and Roll menswear line. And remember guys, Steven Tyler's favorite color, just like mine, pink. Now Slash, you're one of my favorites and you're heading back into the studio this week to do some work on your next solo project. The release date somewhere around the spring of 2012. You've also confirmed that the only lead singer on this album will be the front man of um, Alter Bridge, Miles Kennedy. And I must say, I think that's a very, very great choice. Rush will release their new DVD Blu-ray um, Time Machine on September 27th. I don't think that can come soon enough. It will repeat. It will feature 26 live tracks from their April 15th show in Cleveland, Ohio. Now, if you're planning a trip to Las Vegas, that was a huge bluebird or a blue jay. Uh, if you're planning a trip to Vegas. Sometime this fall, you're going to want to stop in and pack your pooper at the new Leonard Skinner Barbecue and Beer located in the Excalibur Hotel and Casino. You'll be shooting some major fireworks at your ass after eating here, but just think, it'll be worth it. I hear the food is going to be fabulous. Don't worry about waking up feeling like Johnny Cash and having a ring of fire. It's all part of it, right? To date on everything rock, and I want to give a great big shout out to Robert. He um, emailed me, actually he messaged me on Twitter and said, I had to try this. This is called Super Goose IPA. It's got a little cute guy on it. Check him out. It's from Hales Ales, right in uh, Seattle, Washington. They're about two and a half hours from here. It's an India Pale Ale. It's called Super Goose. And it's pretty good. It's a little, um, I don't know, part of me actually thinks it has like a fruity taste to it. Isn't that pretty? That's beautiful. And it smells like some sort of fruit. Oh goodness. That is really good. Alright, I'm out of here. Enjoy the rest of your Sunday. Have a great week. Make sure you go out and rock the world with hope. That's our jobs as human beings, besides enjoying rock and roll. And take care of yourself and each other. Thank you. Tune into Axe Radio anytime that you need to get your rock on.